Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and today we are all the way up to day 82. And today's class will be a vinyasa flow, and we will fo focus on some core strength. So we'll begin just sitting up nice and tall, and bring your hands together in front of your heart, and take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. And we'll keep that intention with us throughout our practice today. And we'll make our way sitting up nice and tall right into boat pose, Navasana. So make sure your spine is long. You can hold on behind your knees. Knees can be bent or straight, but if you do straighten the legs, make sure that your back doesn't round. Draw your belly in and up outer hips in and up as well. Bring your hands in front of the hips, pick up anything, set it down. Bridge pose again. And again, sitting up tall, lift your chest. Shoulder blades are drawing down towards your waist. Keep a nice, steady ujjayi breath as you sit. Inhaling, exhaling through the mouth, pick it up, cross the ankles, and once again, boat. Maybe stretch out the legs this time if that feels appropriate for you. But again, don't let your back round. So lifting from the chest, lifting your belly, and then rolling forward this time. And we'll come back into plank, top of a push-up. Heart forward, heels back, lift the backs of your knees up as you breathe. And then take your knees to the floor and inhale, bring your heart forward, lift the chin and tailbone up. As you exhale, round your back, chin toward chest. And again, inhaling, coming forward, broaden through the collarbones and exhale to round your back. Inhale, bring the chest through, lift the tailbone. Exhale, press away from the floor, round the back. Stretch your right leg back, tuck your toes under. Draw your left knee into your chest, rounding the upper back a little bit as you press away from the floor. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Again, press away from the floor, upper back rounds a little bit. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower slowly to the floor. You can always take the knees down first. Inhale, Cobra pose, peel the chest up, lift your hands and try to stay up as high as you just were. Again, drawing the shoulder blades toward the waist. Lift up, keep your belly lifted, up dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes and come into down dog. Stretching back here. And then back to the knees, inhale, chest forward, lift the chin and tailbone up. Exhale, press away from the floor and round your back. Inhale. Bring your heart forward through the gates of your arms and exhale, press away from the floor, pull the belly and ribs in. Inhaling to come forward, exhale and round your back. Come to a table, extend the left leg back, press into the ball of the foot, draw the right knee into the chest, hold. Keep the crown of the head reaching forward. Pressing again through the upper back and then to plank. Inhale, left leg forward. Try to bring the left heel up toward the hip as you bring your thigh up toward your belly. Keep the low belly and ribs drawn in and back to plank. Shifting forward again, chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog or to cobra. Exhale and stretch all the way back into downward facing dog. Arms shoulder distance apart, feet hips width apart. Come back to your steady breathing, gaze between your knees or your feet, and then looking forward, walk your hands back to your feet and come on to the tops, the backs of your hands. Either keep them right by the toes or walk your hands forward a little, that'll intensify the stretch. Feel free to bend the knees. And now interlace your fingers behind your back as you exhale. Fold forward, lifting the arms as you go, stretching out your shoulders. Reach the crown of the head toward the floor. If your legs are straight, pull up on the kneecaps and firm your quadriceps. Bring the hands to the low back, release them, sit back into chair pose. Feet are hips width apart, make sure your knees are right over your second toes. Sit your hips back. 
and then interlace the fingers, other pinky on top. Open the chest, inhale, exhale, and fold. And again, if your legs are straight, firm the quadricep muscles and shift your hips above your heels. So shift the weight a little forward. Bend the knees again, Utkatasana, reaching up, sit back, weight is in the heels. And then fold forward, walk yourself back out into downward facing dog. Again, arms are shoulders distance, feet hips width. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, knees can be down here. Inhale, upward dog or cobra pose, and exhale back to down dog. Stretching back here, draw your ribs in and up, spin your inner thighs back, reach your heels toward the floor, they don't have to touch. Look up, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, hips over the heels. Inhale, root down through your feet, reach all the way up and exhale, hands to the heart. Inhaling, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga, hug the elbows in. Inhaling, up dog or cobra, thighs and knees off the floor if you're an up dog. Back to plank, lower chaturanga, press up to plank, and then lift the hips back into down dog. You don't have to take the extra chaturanga, but it's an option. You can always hold plank instead. And chaturangas are really good for strengthening our core muscles. And look forward, hips high, step or hop the feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, root through your feet to rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale again, circle your arms up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, look up. Exhale, step or float into Chaturanga. Inhale, press through the tops of the feet in your hands. Exhale, back to plank, chaturanga, knees can be up or down, lift up and back into down dog breathing here. Keep your gaze between your knees or your feet as you breathe. Keeping your inhales and your exhales equal in length. Continue to look forward here again. Step or hop the feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press through the feet to rise up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Inhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit back in your imaginary chair. Weight is in the heels. Drop down a little bit lower. Reach your hands for the floor and then just sit all the way back and find Navasana. Sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, lower down slowly unless it bothers your back. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, either stay up or lower, almost to the floor, not quite. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, cross your ankles, hands in front of the hips, pick up, and then step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhale into Up Dog or Cobra. And exhale, plank, add a Chaturanga, lift your hips, downward dog. Right foot steps, back foot is flat. Inhale, come to Warrior One. As you exhale, one long breath, chaturanga. Inhale, make sure you take a full breath here. Exhale, lift the hips into down dog. Left foot steps back, foot is flat, rise up warrior one, pull the left hip back. Exhale, keep the gaze slightly forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, back to plank pose, add a chaturanga if you wish, lift the hips down dog, breathing here. Feel free to take your knees down and take a break in child's pose anytime. As you spread your fingers wide, press into the base of the fingers, lift away from the mat with your forearms, look forward, step or hop your feet up, inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold, Bend the knees, inhale, reach up, exhale, hands to the heart, again, inhale, and bend the knees, Utkatasana, reach up, try to sit back a little deeper, 
and a little bit deeper. Keep sinking the hips down this time. Maybe sit all the way down without taking your hands to the floor first. See how that works and come into Navasana. Again, lifting the chest. Extend through the legs or keep them bent. Exhale, lean back and inhale, lift up. Now, if you've got back issues, just stay up with bent knees. Otherwise, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. And again, exhale, slowly lower down. Keep your belly lifted. Inhale, extending up. Keep the legs engaged. Cross your ankles. Press down, pick up anything at all. Roll forward, step or float into Chaturanga. Inhale, press through your hands and feet. Exhale, back to plank, add a chaturanga, lift your hips, down dog, right foot steps, back foot is flat. One inhale all the way up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale and lower down. Inhaling, press up, open the front of the body. Exhale, stretch all the way back. Inhale, left foot steps, back foot is flat. So warrior one, pull the left hip back. Exhale through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling up dog or to cobra. Exhale back to plank. Take another Chaturanga or not and come to downward dog. Breathing here. So as you stretch the weight up through the hips, press it down toward the heels. So try to get less weight in your hands and try to get some more into your legs and through your feet. Heels are reaching, but they never have to touch. Just going in that direction. Look forward, bend the knees, step or hop the feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Utkatasana, reaching up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Inhale again, bend the knees, drop the hips. Utkatasana, sitting back. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Keep dropping those hips down and sit all the way down. Hands can come down first. Sit up tall, Navasana. Knees can be bent or straight. Now extend the right leg and then bend it. Squeeze your knees together. Left leg and bend. Both legs straight and bend. Right leg straight and bend it. Left leg straight, bend. Straighten now both knees, bend, cross your ankles, press down, pick up, and roll forward, step or float, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, pressing up, roll the shoulder heads back. Exhale, lift the hips into down dog, right foot steps, back foot is flat. Rise up, Virabhadrasana, one knee over ankle. Exhale to lower down, hug your elbows in. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back into down dog. Left foot steps, back foot is flat. Rise up, inhaling, stretch up. Exhale, to lower down. Keep the belly lifted. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale, stretching back. Breathe here. Again, inhales and exhales equal in length as you breathe. And feel free to take a break, push pause if you like. Look up, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, bend the knees, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. And exhale, Samastitihi. Turn one way on the long way of your mat. And then turn your right leg out, your back toes in slightly, line up heel to arch, and warrior two. <clears throat> Make sure the back arm is as high as your front arm. And your front knee is pointed right over your second toe and it lines up over the ankle. Take your right forearm down, lift your left arm up, just straight up. And then start to turn the chest up toward the ceiling as you reach your right arm straight forward. But keep your torso leaning forward, bottom ribs forward, spin the top ribs back like you're trying to face your belly button up to the ceiling. Make sure you keep your knee in line with the ankle over the second toe. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Stretch out the side body. Inhale to come up. Straighten the front leg. 
Shift your hip back and reach forward for Trikonasana. Right hand down to the shin or foot or a block, left arm up. Try and line up your shoulders with each other. Draw your front hip underneath you and press into the base of the big toe. And take your left hand to your bottom ribs and pull them forward. So your ribs are coming forward and then pick up your right hand and wrap it around your waist and hold here. If that's too much, you can put the right hand back down. Keep breathing, nice core work to hold. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward, bottom ribs forward, top ribs back. Inhale to come back up. Take the feet to parallel, turn the left leg all the way out, the back toes in, heel to arch alignment. Exhale and bend your left knee over your ankle. Press your back thigh straight back, lifting the back inner thigh up toward the ceiling. Gaze over the fingertips as you breathe here. And then lean forward, left forearm to left thigh, right arm straight up. Try to turn your chest up toward the ceiling, bottom ribs forward, and then extend that left arm forward as you continue to try to turn your chest, your torso up toward the ceiling. Keep breathing here. Again, this is some core work. Make sure your knee stays over your ankle. Inhale to come up. Exhale, reverse your warrior, bend into the left knee. Inhale, come back up, straighten your left leg. Triangle pose, arms to a T. You can always walk in a shorter stance if you like to. Shift your hips back and lean forward. Take the left hand down and reach up through your right fingertips. Again, lean your torso back over your front thigh. Press weight into the base of the big toe of your left foot. Take your top hand, bring it to the bottom ribs and pull those bottom ribs forward and then reach the right arm back up. Now take your left arm to your top ribs without pulling them down, keep rolling them back and holding here for three. Keep extending through the crown of the head, two. Keep the belly lifted and active, one. And inhale, come on up. Nice, take the feet to parallel. Hands to the hips, toes in will be, toes will be in a little. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, fold forward, fingertips toward the floor. Inhale, look up to lengthen, and you can stay anywhere you like. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Reaching the crown of the head toward the floor, doesn't have to touch. Lift your shoulders away from the floor. And line up your wrists underneath your elbows if your arms are bending. And squeeze outer hips and inner thighs toward the midline. Inhale halfway up. Exhale hands to hips. Inhale back to center. And step your feet together. Turn to face the front of the mat. Back to Samastitihi. Now balance here. Find a spot to focus on. Draw your right knee in toward your chest. Make sure the left leg stays active. Lift your belly, lift your chest, and widen the collarbones. Breathe here. Keep pinning your left hip in toward center. And now lift both arms up and extend your right leg out. Drop the right hip down, keep the shoulders right above your hips, and keep drawing that left hip in towards center. And we'll slowly hug the knee in again, just for a breath or two, and then release it down. And left foot down, we'll hug the right knee in. When you're ready, keep a nice steady gazing point. Lift your chest. Draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Breathe here, keep pulling that leg in. So you're using core muscle strength to hold it. And then lift both arms up. Big core work here as you extend the left leg out. Hold it up any amount and breathe. Dropping the left hip down, pulling and squeezing the right hip in towards center. And slowly release it. Hug the knee back into the chest for just a couple breaths. And release. Back to Samastitihi, which means steady balance. Inhale, bend the knees. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, pressing up. 
Then exhale, lift your hips into down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, draw it in, thigh toward the belly, shoulders over the wrist. Press away from the floor. Now take it over to your right tricep. Hold it there, see if you can touch right above the elbow lightly. And then to the left tricep, see if you can touch very lightly on the tricep. Now extend that leg straight, reach your left arm up, right hand is pressing down, and just stretch the front of the body. Bring your left hand back, keep the right leg off the floor as you move through Chaturanga if you can. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog, and exhale back into Down Dog. Float the left leg up as you inhale. Exhale, shoulders over wrist, draw the thigh right in toward the belly, You're pressing away from the floor here. Now take it to the outside of the left arm as high as you can, maybe touching just very gently, not using the arm to hold the leg. Exhale, turn it to the right, knee toward the right, tricep twisting as much as you can. Then extend the leg out as you reach the right arm up and stretch through your whole body. And inhale, find the mat again, keep the left leg up as you come to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling up, Exhaling back. Oh, stretch back here again. Come back to your steady breathing. Arms and ears are in line. Inhale to plank. Make your way onto your forearms for forearm plank. Keep lifting the backs of your knees. Tailbones reaching to the heels. And breathe. Elbows right under shoulders. Now roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Lift your left arm up. Your right forearm stays down. You can take the hand toward the center of the mat if you want more support. Come back to center. Left hand down. Stretch to the right leg. Or sorry, the right hand. And pull your top hip a little bit forward so your hips are stacked. Back to forearm plank. Lift the hips. Walk the feet in for down dog. And stretch out the shoulders and then press into up dog. You can always come to child's pose first and then press to up dog. I'm sorry, to down dog. And from here, back into plank, lower slowly to the floor. Arms are by our sides. Inner thighs are spinning up. Inhale, lift everything up, Shalabhasana. So lifting the chest, inner thighs lifting. Breathing, pull up your belly. Pubic bone slightly pressing down. And keep the back of your neck long. Come down and take a rest. And again, arms by your ears this time. Lift everything up into locust pose. Tailbones reaching to heels, pubic bones pressing down lightly, hip points are lifting toward the low ribs, stretch out the whole front of your body, and rest. And again, same thing. Reach the arms forward, stretch through the legs, inner thighs spin up, either stay there or swim your arms back, take the pinky toe sides of the feet, pressing into Dhanurasana. So press your feet up toward the ceiling and then press them back toward the back of your mat, knees no wider than hips, ideally, and come down to rest. And one more time, either stay with Shalabhasana or swim your arms back, grab the pinky toe sides of the feet, lift up, press back. Inner thighs are spinning up. Breathe more into the chest and less into your belly. Try to get the breath up a little higher so that your low back isn't compressed by the belly. Come on down and rest. And then hands by the ribs, inhale, pressing into up dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips, stretch all the way back into down dog. Keep stretching back here, getting nice and long. Look forward, either step or hop to seated. I'm going to take Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees apart. 
Sit up tall, open your feet like a book. Lengthen, inhale, exhale. Hinging at the hips, come forward. Keep your spine really long. Inhale and come up and exhale. This time we'll round down the forehead toward the feet. Stretch out the low back. And then come on up. Grab your pinky toe or your big toes with your first two fingers. Wrap them around. Inhale, lift your feet up. Keep the knees bent. Exhale, extend your right leg out slowly. You can always hold the leg instead of the foot. Inhale the leg to center. Exhale, extend the left leg out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, both legs out if you can. Remember, you can always hold down closer to your heels. <laughs> Losing my balance. And then keep the legs up. Bring your palms together to touch. And breathe here. Three, two, and grab the toes. Bring the feet together. Knees can bend here. Lift the chest. Make sure your spine stays really long. Good. And we'll release that into Paschimottanasana. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, extend forward. Pull the toes back and flex your ankles. And keep extending your crown of your head forward every time you take an exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale to release. Come to your back and draw the knees into the chest, gently again rocking from side to side. Take your knees off to the left and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. And exhale, take the knees off to the other side. And look over the left shoulder. Come on through center. And we'll make our way into our final resting pose. So take a few moments to get nice and comfortable. And then once you're comfortable, just allow yourself to completely relax. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. In the last several classes, we've been talking about the eight limbs of yoga. So it's more than just practicing our postures, as you know by now if you've been following. And we're on the eighth limb of yoga, which is called samadhi. And samadhi is kind of sometimes referred to as enlightenment, where the meditator comes to realize the connection with all living things. And this realization comes with peace and an understanding. And one thing I think of when I think of having that sort of peace is happiness. And we're going to be talking more about happiness the next several classes. But I do have a quote here. If I can find it. Here it is. By Dada Vaswami. Happiness, true happiness, is an inner quality. It is a state of mind. If your mind is at peace, you are happy. 
but you have nothing else. Right? If your mind is at peace, but you have nothing else, you are happy. If you have everything the world can give, pleasure, possessions, power, but lack peace of mind, you can never be happy. So that's why our yoga practice is so important for us, not only to keep our, our bodies healthy and flexible and strong, but to help us to keep that peace in our minds. Start. <clears throat> Start to make some movements in your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms overhead. And bend your knees, roll to your right side. And pausing for gratitude here for all of our blessings. Slowly make your way up. And we'll take the hands together in Anjali Mudra. And hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communications. And send out this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked our class, please, please, please push the like button. Let's see if we can get a whole bunch of likes. And leave me a comment. I love your comments. Um, I really, really appreciate them. I um, feel so much wonderful support from everybody. I love, I love our little yoga community that's growing. And share our classes if you can. If you're in a position where you could make a donation of any amount at all, there is a link below. And it's through PayPal. And all donations are so appreciated. Or if you ever shop on Amazon, go to fightmasteryoga.com and on the homepage on the right, you'll see the Amazon sign, their little logo, and press there and then order whatever it is that you order and we get credit. Nothing more for you.